Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at another music visualizer and it's going to look like this. So let's get going. OK, for this project, we're going with 1920, 1080, 24 frames a second and a duration of eight seconds. And the first thing I want to do is bring in my audio, go to my assets folder, bring in drum loop. And I will give you a link to this in the description. And it sounds like this. Extremely boring, but it will do for our purposes. So the first thing I want to do is come over to the library generators. I want to look for clouds and I'll bring that in. Let's come over to the inspector. I want to set the height to 810. And then I want to come to the gradient and I'm going to pick the gradient that I've made for this project. It's called the red green steps. And I will give you a link to this and I will show you at the end how to install it. So hang around for that. So the first thing I want to do is select our group, come to filters and distortion and I want mirror. And then I'm simply going to duplicate that mirror, right click duplicate and set the angle of this new one to 90 degrees. Then we can add a blur and a radial blur and the default is absolutely fine. So then the next step is to add the fancy filter that makes this effect. So distortion and ring lens. So let's set the radius of this ring lens to 250 and the thickness let's go for 0.2 and a refraction of three. So let's also now add a mask to this group. So come down, select the circular mask, hold down the shift and option key, draw out a mask roughly like that, set its radius to 220 and make sure to center it up. So right click reset. Let's duplicate the mask, right click duplicate Let's set its blend mode, the mask blend mode to subtract and the size to 175. So now we've isolated that in the center there. And I want to also add to this group just above the clouds, a line. So grab the line tool, hold down the shift key and draw it a line like this. Fairly, fairly long actually. Sets the width to 100 for this. And also let's set the color to white. So that's going to give us this little highlight here. And that makes things all a little bit jollier. So I've turned that on and off. Looks like that. So let's call this group mini. And what we want to do is come to properties and we want to add an audio behavior to the rotation. So add parameter behavior audio. And from the menu here, we want to select output. And I want to come down here and switch the peaks to smooth. Let's have a scale of two. And now if I run it, you can see the circling jiggling around with the music. So let's now duplicate this mini group, right click duplicate. Let's call it small and let's open it up. So the first thing I want to do is adjust these two masks. So the first one here, the lower one, I want to set its value to 350 and the other one to 250. And then I want to come to the ring lens and set this value to 350. Let's come to the behaviors and let's set that scale to negative two. So that's going to go in the opposite direction. Let's have a quick look at that. So that's what we've got so far. And then let's duplicate this small group, right click duplicate and let's call it medium. Let's open it up. Let's do the same thing with the masks. This bottom mask here, we're going to set to 450 and the top one we're going to set to 350. And then we're going to come back into the ring lens and set this value to 450. And again, come over to the behaviors and let's set this value to four. And then we can duplicate this group one more time. Right click duplicate. We can call it large. Let's open it up and again, do the same trick with the masks. We'll set this bottom one to 500. The top one we will set to 400 and coming back into the ring lens, we're going to set that radius to 500. Maybe increase that refraction up to four. Let's try that. OK, so the other thing I want to do is to this medium group, I want to add filters, stylize and extrude. I want to set the distance to one and I want to set the back size to 0.7 
And I'm going to just copy that, Command C, and I'm going to paste it onto this large group here. Paste like that. Then we get this effect. Let's close all those up. Let's make a new group at the top, Object New Group, and let's put all of those into that new group. And then let's clone the group. So right click, Make Clone Layer. It makes a new group at the top. And we're going to come to Filters and Color and Threshold. And we can leave that at the defaults. And let's set the Blend Mode to Linear Dodge. And what that does is it gives us these really nice bright highlights like that. Which really adds to the dynamism of the whole effect. So let's again take the main group and clone it. So right click and make clone layer. And let's put this new group behind like that. Come into the clone and let's set the scale to 240. And let's also just set the opacity down to 5. So I just want this kind of ghosted version in the background. And let's come to the rotation and let's set the Y rotation to 180. So it's kind of going the opposite way. So all starting to come together quite nicely. What we might do is take our main group and set its blend mode to linear dodge. Might just help with a little bit of transparency onto the, the other version at the back there. And also for our safety, let's just come into generators and drop a color solid in behind that clone there and make it black. OK, so then above this clone, what I want to do is I want to add in a lens flare. So come to Object, Generators and Lens Flare. So let's come over and just give this a bit of colour like that. Let's set its intensity to 2. Uh, let's turn off the streak intensity and the ring radius. Don't want either of those. So what I want to do with the intensity is I want to add it to the audio behaviour. So add parameter behavior audio and again from this menu let's choose output and let's maybe also just switch that to smooth there and set the scale to two so what that will do is it will pulse like that and then what i want to do is just mask it to the center so with the lens flare selected circular mask shift an option key draw it a mask like that make sure to center it up Set the mask size to 175, and that's good. And then I want to add a little bit of a filter to this just to make it a little bit more interesting. So lens flare, and we're going to come to distortion and insect eye. And just, I think, even just that default is pretty good. So I'm not really getting enough of a kick off that. I wonder whether we can increase that scale to four and we'll get some more intensity. Probably not enough. We can come back to the lens flare and maybe just increase its size. Let's try that. Let's go for 500 for the size. And then that's... Looking a lot better. So basically that's the effect so I just need to tell you how to install the gradient. So you'll find it in the Assets folder, Red Green Steps it's called, and you'll notice it's got a MOLO, M-O-L-O, suffix. So where are we going to put it? Well, we're going to come to the Go menu in the Finder there, Go to Folder, and we're going to type this. So tilde forward slash library, so capital L for library, tilde forward slash library. And let's go for that. And you'll see it brings us to the library. So in the library, we need to look for the folder called Application Support, this one here, Application Support. Open that up, scroll down till we get to Motion. So Motion is here. Open up the Gradients folder. There you go. And just paste it in here. You'll see mine is already in there. So that's where it needs to live. So there's the complete path there. So Users, your username, Library, Application Support, Motion, Library, Gradients. Drop it in there and it'll be available to you the next time you open Motion. So hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.